Part 4. We are going to continue with solving linear equations. You will find this on page 105 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Equations containing brackets. The first step will be to multiply out the brackets. So if I ask you, like example 4, solve the equation, you will first multiply out the brackets. So 3 times x is 3x, three, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 2 times 3x three is 6x and 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, so expand each side by multiplying out the brackets. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to simplify that. So let's just show you. This is like, like, and this is like, oh, okay, like. So what we do is we're first going to get the like terms on the same side. So add 3 on both sides. So simplify both sides. And then subtract 6x from both sides. So this cancel out, this cancel out. And you are ending up with positive 3 minus 6x. So you subtract. And the biggest movement was negative. So it's negative 3x. 17. I divide negative 3. I divide negative 3. And the value of x is negative 17 over 3 or negative 5 and 2 thirds. Okay. I want you to do try now 4. And I want you to do number A as well as number, let's just see, number D. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So try now. Let's start with number A. Now first, let's rewrite everything. Okay, so let's multiply out the brackets. 2 times 2x, that will be 4x. 2 times 3, that will be 6. 3x plus 2. So, okay. This is very important. Never put two equal signs in the row. So let's just get rid of this equal sign. Okay. There is an equal sign, so there must only be one equal sign. Okay. Let's highlight our like terms. So this is 4x. So to get rid of this 3, I will subtract 3x on both sides. And this will bring me to negative 3x. And now this will cancel. And now... To get rid of this positive 6 here, I will subtract 6 on both sides. So this cancel, and I'm ending up with 2 minus 6. So 4 minus 3x, that's just x. When the signs are different, what do I do? I subtract, and I take the sign in front of the big movement. And that will be my answer. Okay, let's just make space, and let's just do number D. So it's again brackets. So let's just work out this. So 2 times 3x, what will that be? 6x. 2 times 5, what will that be? 10. 7 times x is 7x. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. And this is my negative 13. Okay, let's mark our like terms. Like, like. And this one's like, like, like. So let's get the like terms on the same side. So rewrite this 6x. Now this is positive 7. To cancel, it must be negative 7, negative. So on this side, it will be negative 7x. Okay. And this one is negative 28 and negative 13. And to cancel this positive 10, I must subtract 10 on both sides. So on this side, it will be negative 10. So if I simplify this, I'm going to say 6 minus 7. I, the difference is 1x, but the biggest movement is negative. So it's negative. Now, if it's negative 28, negative 10, so that's negative 38, negative 13, that's going to bring me to negative 51. Because it's negative, I divide by a negative, I divide by a negative. The value of x is positive 51. 
That's the solution of the equation or the root of the equation. Okay, let's look at example five. Solve the equation. It's just a lot of brackets. Now, just remember, if there stands nothing in front of the bracket, there's a one, as I showed you there. So basically, I'm just multiplying out the brackets. I take the like terms to the same side, and I just simplify it, and I will get that the value of m will be 24. Okay, let's just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let's just mark one or two sums that you can do. Okay, this, this I just want to note, this is on page 107 in the textbook. No, I'm incorrect, it's 106. Okay, so if I say solve simple, so the I want you to do the following. I want you to do number A and number B. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, so this is try now five. So let's start with number A. So if it's 1 minus A equals 6, A plus 10 minus 3, 3A plus 1. So it's 1 minus A. Now just multiply out the bracket. So it's 6A. 6 times 10 will be 60. Now be careful. Can you remember the story of the red robot? Stop. If there's a negative sign, think of your signs. So negative 3 times 3A is negative 9A. Usually this is not your problem. This is your problem. So negative 3 times positive 1 will be negative 3 and not positive 3. Okay, and now I will just simplify. Let's just mark our like terms. Like, like, like. And then this one, like, like, like. So this will be negative A. Now, to cancel that negative 9A, you will add positive 9A. So if it goes over to this side, it's positive 9A. Um, in this 6A, if it goes over to this side, negative 6A. There's the equal sign. Okay, there's the 60, there's the minus 3, it was already on this side. But if this positive 1 goes over, it will become negative 1. And if I simplify, now this is 1, so this will be 8, and then this will be a minus 6, so it will be 2a. And if it's 60 minus 3 minus 1, this will be 56. And then I divide by 2, and I divide by 2, and the value of a will be equal to 28. And that's the solution to the equation. Okay. Let's just do the last one in brackets. Um, so number B. This will be 5. And then it's 2x minus 1 plus 4 equals 6x plus 1. So if I multiply out, this will be 10x. If I multiply negative 5. Um, there's the plus 4. This is 6x plus 1. Okay, so this is my like. This is like. So let's just get the like terms on the same side. So this is positive 6. If I go over, it's negative 6x. This is 1. This is negative 5 over positive 5. This is positive 4 over negative 4. Now 10 minus 6, that is 4x. And then 6, it's 2, so I divide by 4, I divide by 4, and the value of x is a half, but you can also make it a decimal because it's exact, so you can also say the value of x is 0 0.5. And that's the root of the equation or the solution of the equation.